I'm Chris Barnett with Ashland Fire Department. I'm one of the captains on our rescue company. And uh, we're here at SVI uh, to do the final inspection on our new walk around rescue. Ashland, Kentucky is a population of around 20,000, um, which grows significantly during business hours. We have been, over the past number of years, uh, our, our rescue incidents and responses have steadily increased and that that area of response has has just continually built and we have over those years compiled equipment and we've been uh, every avenue from trailers and converted uh, pumpers to rescues and so this this is our first full-blown rescue truck and we're, um, we're very proud and, and very excited. The chassis um, on the rescue is a uh, Spartan Gladiator chassis. Uh, this will be our first Spartan Gladiator truck, but we did try to design and build this truck as a work truck. Um, it's not for show, it's to actually um, work and get, uh, get the job done as best we can. That's the main reason for this cab. Um, we looked at several of them and it seemed like it would fit uh, our purposes very nice. This is a street side number one compartment and uh, starting from the top, a very simple laid out. We have uh, room for, for say one of the little giant style combination ladders to go up there as well as backboards and stoke baskets uh, to keep that stored up there. And all those items will be available from either street or curbside. And then coming down, uh, the, the main uh, center of this compartment, basically for Paratech struts. Um, so um, these have uh, two um, uh, transverse pullouts, uh, which come out 75% um, uh, pullouts. All the struts will be mounted, as you can see here, on these uh, verticals, as well as you can mount just massive amounts of tools and appliances on the floor of these compartments. So an incredible, incredible uh, asset to us as far as being able to keep things where they're accessible. And we're so happy with having the access either curbside or street side because of the safety factor of it. You can operate, you know, guys can operate or access tools either either side that, that would be the safest. And then the lower portion of this compartment has the controls for the command light, uh, the scene light on top. But um, this will mainly be um, retained for the, for the engineer, for the driver, for their compartment, for their personal gear. Street side compartment two, starting at the top, uh, just a very simple and adjustable fixed shelf. A lot of our areas on here, we're, just, we're set up with a lot of cased tools. In other words, tools that have their own individual cases. We'll have the ability to arrange and, and, and set up things uh, in the fashion that works best for us. In the center of this, it has a large thousand pound pull out. This is a, th a three quarter compartment. It's just a huge, big footprint and anyone who's familiar with rescue knows that this area of this tray will get filled up extremely quick with the tools that, uh, that have to go in there. Uh, in the bottom, we have five drawer listed toolbox, uh, which is built into the truck. These are, uh, you know, very, very nice, which will allow for just so much organization uh, as opposed to, you know, operating with you know, a typical over-the-counter toolbox that you have sitting in a compartment. And then uh, we're real happy. This will be our first uh, apparatus to have a, uh, a specified uh, compartment for uh, fuels and for hydrocarbons, which, you know, we can store all that in here and it will keep those vapors and stuff from getting to, to other tools and, and destroying anything nylon and uh, an industry standard to, you know, to indicate, um, you know, flammable uh, compartment. This is uh, street side compartment three. We have these uh, two hinged tool boards, uh, which allow uh, mounting on both sides of these. And then a rear one, which allows mounting on both sides. The combination of these four surface areas, incredible access to tools and um, very pleased with that. Again, this is another first for us uh, having these. It's nothing new, they've been around. It's just, it'll be a, the first time that we've 
actually had them to use. Uh, SCBA holders, we have three of these compartments that hold two cylinders each. Street side compartment four. And here you can see adapters for our portable winch. And we have uh, receptacles for those on all four positions on the truck, on the sides, front and rear. But on top, there are uh, two on either side of the truck as well. This vertical pullout, um, this is mainly for heavy rigging. This will be uh, mainly a chain board right here which will house chains and the spoil pile of the chains goes in, in this container. And on this side, we'll have uh, uh, multiple, you know, small tools and clevises and whatnot that'll mount over here. Uh, again, makes it super easy to access and get to. Uh, on the top, we have a, a, an out and down tray, a 250 pound tray. We have two fixed trays, a lot of cables, heavy rigging access stuff, and um, a bottom pull out will have a grip hoist setting here, which is you know a, he a very heavy tool. This enables it to get out where it makes it easy to, to access. This box, um, this is actually for um, oil dry, kitty litter, if you will, from the industry. It'll have a hose on it here, and we'll be able to just you know fill a bucket with oil dry uh, outside of the truck, and it makes a much much neater. Uh, situation. On the rear of the truck, we have uh, just the fold down step here. We're really excited about having the, the stairs built into the truck. We carry a significant amount of, of heavy tools up on top in the coffin boxes, and it just makes for a very safe um, access and egress from getting those tools from the top of the truck down. Uh, so we're very excited to have that. The steps, uh, the actual riser compartments, of the stairs. This is where the portable winch is mounted in here. That just lifts out and then can be put in front, rear, or the sides at any point on that. Then at the top, that's our ladder bay up there, which uh, houses you know three of our ground ladders. We wanted this compartment, which is very long, will house uh, shoring timber. We'll be able to carry a decent amount of wood to get some sort of a, a rescue started. It's not going to certainly carry all that you need, but it certainly can carry enough uh, to get things going until reinforcements actually get there. You can see on the back it has points for the uh, for the winch and the controls for that. Okay, on the top of the truck, uh, we have obviously coffin boxes surrounding us. They do a, a great job with these, um, easily accessible. The uh, absorbent compartment, this is where you feel it from right here, holds I think 150 pounds of absorbent, so works out really well. The uh, These are the anchor points for rope anchors that goes in the uh, receivers that we pointed out earlier. Those receivers, you can see it back there on the, on the rear corner. It's a little different view of it from up here. Uh, again, the coffin boxes are just wide open. Lights come on automatically, uh, and they have adjustable dividers in them, which works uh, really, really great. But gives us a huge, huge amount of storage. These will house everything from, from shoring uh, tools, to swift water PFDs and helmets, you can find space blowers. There's just so many tools that we that we have to carry. This is going to be just an incredible amount of organization for us. So as far as on top of the truck, you can see we have the command light. Again, that will be a first for us having the new version of the light tower. So we're very excited about having that. Uh, that lumber compartment, and this this is a false floor that actually goes in here. They're the same depth comp the coffin boxes are, but this is a false floor, uh, which allows that lumber storage to go all the way underneath of it. More of the same uh, on the rear. Again, your rope attachments are right next to um, where you will need to insert them into the receiver, so very convenient. Um, this is street side compartment four, starting at the top. They custom built this for us for the Paratech airbags. This will house all the bags that we currently have, plus it's built for some future expansion as well. A 10 gauge, 150 foot cord reel, a 30 amp cord reel. That's a power cord reel, which will allow us to run 30,000 watt generator on board. We can run anything that we will ever need to run. Below that, this is a pull out, this carousel, um, we'll house the uh, Hearst E-Tools and uh, cutter, spreader, and ram. It allows you to rotate around to the, get the tool out that you want. It gives you a good lift on the tool. 
uh, makes them very accessible rather than having to reach back in a compartment and put your back in a horrible situation. It will be a first for us having the tools on the carousel like that. This is a three quarter pull out as well. Uh, we have you know just so many, so, so many tools, torches, jacks, I mean so many different tools that they will arrange to go in all these pull outs that will give them really, really easy access. We have these two trays down here. We have uh, like everyone else, we have so many battery tools now, so tr both these trays have uh, electric available uh, in the back of them, so we'll be able to plug all of our chargers in and have, have our batteries right here. Uh, we chose to have it out here rather than inside the truck, simply because when you're out using tools on a job, you're outside and it prevents you from having to go and climb back up in the truck to get your batteries. So. Uh, just the way we chose to do it. Curbside compartment three, and this is a, a three-quarter uh, pull-out, a, a massive big tray that will be able to arrange this stuff as to what makes the most sense for the application. It's, uh, curbside compartment two, we have the first three shelves are, are fixed adjustable shelves. Again, they will house just a mirage of different uh, items. This bottom compartment will be for cribbing. And the unique thing about it is they build these with a, with a two inch slope. So the front's two inches higher than the back. So it has a constant slope on it. So going down the road is the natural vibration will keep your cribbing slid back in the compartment. And anyone who's ever driven a rescue truck knows if it's set and level, it, 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 it migrates out towards your doors and, and you're constantly trying to keep it shoved back in. So uh, it seems like a little thing, but that's, that's a big plus right there. We'll have this absolutely filled up. This is uh, curbside compartment one. We are a mirror image of the, the other side since this is a transverse compartment with a couple minor differences. The top three fourths of the truck is the same. You access ladder, stokes, backboards and stuff. You can access those from either side. All your Paratech struts and all those appliances you can pull out from either side and get to everything, which is a just a major, major thing. The bottom, uh, it does have a pull-out tray, which um, you know will allow for some easier access here. Overall, it's uh, it, it should be laid out very well for us.